Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight, it's the final game of Week 11. The number three ranked Jacksonville Dolphins traveling to New Orleans, Louisiana to take on the Tulane Green Wave. Jacksonville riding a six-game winning streak. Tulane on a little bit of a streak. Two games in a row. They're four and five on the season. They need a win here to keep their, their bowl season hopes alive. Before we get into the game, please slap that like button and subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community, folks. There's a link in the description below. I'd love to see you guys in there. Share this in that Discord community. There it is. This is the final game of Week 11. Like I said, after the game, we're going to be taking a look at the Week 12 schedule. And we will also be taking a look at the new Top 25, Conference standings. You know, all that happy stuff. Let me get this graphic off the screen. Boom, there we go. There's the matchup. Jacksonville averaging 68.9 points per game with the number one offense in the country and the 44th ranked defense. The pass defense is a little shaky. 88th in the country, 279 yards passing allowed per game. That's a bit rough, but the turnover differential is absolutely phenomenal. Number three in the land, 1.8 turnover differential. Tulane, they are 15th in turnover differential, and that is their best ranking uh, out of everything. That's, they don't even average 100 yards rushing per game. That is rough. But I do expect a pretty good fight here tonight. Tulane, they've given me fits in the past with you know Savannah State, and I believe Jacksonville's played them as well, if I'm not mistaken. But Tulane, they've always been a thorn in my side. So we're going to get in here in their stadium in NOLA and try to get a big dub. Let me see what we got going on here. There we go. My chat is up. Who do we got? Marvin Joseph, of course, the head coach for the Dolphins. John Perez, chaos driven. My brother, what's going on? Pat's 94 in the chat. My sweet revenge. Audrey, how you doing? JP Parker in the chat. Marvin, what uniforms would you like to wear, sir? You can pick any one of the four. Just do it. This is going to be a good one. Well, while we're waiting for the answer to that, let's take a look at the Heisman watch list. Michael Hines is on there. Quarterback for the Jacksonville Dolphins. And there he is, currently number two. He's got 38 total touchdowns on the season. He needs 77 rushing yards this game to go for 1,000. And he needs 216 yards passing to go to 2,000. All right, white with green pants. Let's get it, Marvin. Let's do it. Boom, let's get it. I'm ready. Hope you guys are hyped for this game. I know I am. T-Roy Gaines, 10 total touchdowns. True freshman halfback. Quasi Sands, 63 extra points. Ridiculous. But watch out for Jones, the quarterback for Tulane, over 2,300 passing yards. Nelson with nine rushing touchdowns. And their strong safety is a tackling machine with 55 of them things this season. All right. New Orleans, Louisiana. And it is going to be a loud one tonight. Let's kick it off. Let's play some defense first, Marvin. Let's get it. Quasi Sands on for the kickoff. My controller is shaking. Gotta love the crowd sound. Mr. Highlight out here on kickoff. I'm not sure about that, but okay. He's not a good tackler. Great broken tackle by Hayden, but he's dropped at the 14-yard line. And the Jacksonville defense will take the field. Parker Palmer, Zach Allen, Frank Frazier, and Ryan Richardson. All defensive ends, all sophomores. The linebacking core, Zane Williams, Devin Rambo, and true freshman Marcus Barnes in the middle. Secondary includes Alan Davidson, Marvin Joseph Jr., Malik Bean, Jack Sims, and Marcus Pedersen. And the first pass is incomplete, bouncing off of Harwell. And Pedersen is back. He was suspended, I believe, last game. He is a sight for sore eyes. And the quarterback going to take off. He has dropped for a big loss, and I believe that was Devin Rambo. Yes, it was. Third down and 17. 
great start for the Dolphins. Slim Chris in the chat. What's up, Chris? All right, they're going to take a shot. Left side. Oh, my goodness. Allen Davidson should have had a pick six, but a nice deflection by the junior corner. And a quick three and out. You love to see it if you're a Dolphin fan or a player. Let's get a block. Let's get it. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Oh, what a block right there. Zach Allen got roughed up pretty good. Mr. Highlight from the 41 and up past the 50 into Green Wave territory. Let's take a look at the JU offense led by junior quarterback Michael Hines. He is currently number two on the Heisman watch list. Backed up by Nolan Connor. Backfield includes Jukes McGee, Nelson McRae, and T-Roy Gaines. Tyler Matthews is at fullback. We'll go over the rest of the offense after this play. And here is the carry, T-Roy Gaines, first down, Dolphins. The rest of the offense, Mr. Highlight at wide receiver, the Heisman Trophy winner from last season, Jermaine Marshall and Deshaun Harris. And also, true freshman, Jeremy Mosley is the number four receiver on the roster. At tight end, Christian Hart and true freshman, Greg Ward Jr., number 88. Number one offense in the land. And, oh, almost fit that through there. My goodness. All right, second down and 10. I was trying to make Highlight come back for it, but instead he did a weird spin animation that I did not like. Throw it up. Highlight, nice catch on the sideline. First down with 22. Let's get it. I'm going to hit him with that read option now. Crowd going wild. Number 20, toughest stadium in the country. And McGee with a spin. Could he make it in the end zone? Yes, he can. Touchdown, J.U. just like that. Took a minute and nine seconds. And the junior halfback with a 22-yard run for the score. Rig Gear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Big time win for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds earlier over the San Diego Toreros. Four-way tie for the Pac-10, in case you guys missed that. Quasi Sands on for the extra point. And the extra point is good. It's seven nothing. Only took 34 seconds and four plays. Stands on for the kickoff. To the goal line. Come on, Marcus. And he does get the tackle. Nice play by the freshman. The stream buffered on you. Oh, my goodness. That is just bad luck, Marvin. <laughs> First and 10 for the Green Wave. Direct snap, Miles Dawkins again calling plays out here tonight. Oh, what a hit by Marcus Pedersen. Nelson does pick up the first down, though. Pac-10 is crazy. Yes, sir. The craziest conference. The ACC is pretty nuts this season as well. Draw play. Nelson gets a couple. Devin Rambo on the stop. You missed the whole drive, Marvin. That is a field bad, my friend. There is a big time sack by Parker Palmer. Number 79, freshman, or sophomore defensive end, rather. Third down and 15. Now the crowd is upset. And a shot over the middle, incomplete. Quarterback was hit. And that affected the trajectory of the pass. So another stop for Jacksonville's defense. Let's go. We got really bored and started a franchise in Madden 18. That's what feels bad, brother. 
Everybody pray for chaos. F's in the chat. Mr. Highlight to return the punt from his 20. And gets it up past the 25. Nothing too good on that one, but we'll, we'll take it. It's fine. False start. Okay, first and 15. At least you're actually playing football. That's true. Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on, man? Tyler Matthews, the fullback, gets the carry. Falls forward, picks up four yards. Deep shot. Mr. Highlight, that might be picked off. Oh, he comes down with it. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe he comes down with that. That's crazy. What a catch from Mr. Highlight. I threw up a prayer, and it was answered. Unbelievable catch. That was outrageous. Dukes McGee gets another carry, and McGee will pick up seven or eight yards off the left side. Number one in the red zone, 96%. Very efficient this season. Oh, he fixed it in there to Mr. Highlight for the score. What a throw. That was a laser beam. Touchdown, Dolphins. Wow. Unbelievable throw. That's what feels good right there. I'll tell you what. Unbelievable. That's a that's an EFL throw right there, folks. Fourteen to nothing. Just had some drop frames on my OBS for some odd reason, but we're back. We're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, I got destroyed. Get him, Allen. Oh my goodness, I got destroyed again. All right, back to defense. Green Wave starting the drive from their 25-yard line. Front seven has been bullying the offensive line. Man, wide open. And nice tackle by Pedersen in the open field. I had trouble with Tulane because I didn't have a Mr. Highlight. That could be it. It could be. I can't argue that at all. Oh, nice deflection by Pedersen. Let's go. He's so good. Third down and one. Can we get another three and out this quickly? Marcus Pedersen with a sack. Let's go, baby. Sack lunch. Get off the field. Too easy. Another three and out. Another one. Highlight back to return. Another punt. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's going on, brother? 
And here is highlight from his 20-yard line. And gets it up to the 28. Is there going to be a kicker spot open on the team for this offseason? Well, um, Quasi Sands is a senior. So the Dolphins will be, indeed, looking for a kicker in the offseason. Deep shot. Oh, he threw it out of bounds. That's unacceptable. All right, second down and 10. Finds on the option and going to fall forward. Picks up six or seven. Third down, four yards to go. Jacksonville wins. They'd have the best story between the three champs. Why is that, Jay? Explain to me. Talk to me. Oh, we take off. We take off. We get first downs. Let's go, Hines. He's so fast. It's almost not fair. What was that play? Tight end corner to Christian Hart. Oh, we got some pressure. Wide open. McCray. Oh, he has that little stutter step, but still gets the catch for a few yards. If he didn't have that little stutter step, he would definitely have gotten first down, most likely. Play. Paris Gurley in the chat. What's up, Paris? Man, that was an unfortunate play. Really good deflection. Grambling. Yeah, Grambling State is 8-0 right now. They are just defeating. They're destroying everybody pretty much. Nelson dropped for a big time loss. Marcus Barnes. That's a loss of five. I can't wait for that SEC championship game. I'm pretty sure Grambling and Jackson will both have it locked up. Oh, nice tackle by Pedersen. Let's go. Oh, no. He's injured on the play. Come on, brother. Oh, feels bad. Montgomery coming in. And that throw, I don't know where that was going, but it was terrible. Another three and out. Highlight, no return on this one. End of the first quarter, Dolphins on top, 14 to nothing over the two-lane green wave. Christian Hart, wide open. First down of the 48. And another, another injury for Tulane, James Eaton. And Michael Hines is in the zone at quarterback. Look out!
Cannot hear the hot route. It is pretty loud here tonight. That's all right. We don't need it. Get that catch highlight. Oh, he makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. No bueno. Quick strike. Jermaine Marshall, he's going to pick up six. Michael Hines running out there blocking people. you got to be kidding me. Bruce ribs for Marcus Pedersen. Luckily, he will return for the Dolphins secondary. See Roy Gaines in at halfback. He'll get the carry. Zero blocks. Oh, my goodness. That was a jailbreak blitz. 48. Now let's call from corner punt this. The defense is playing really well. Hopefully I can get the accuracy on it that I want. That would be great. And I did. All right, cool. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't haze. Punts it out of bounds inside the five-yard line. You'd love to see it. Let's go. Fullback dive. Oh, my goodness. you got to be kidding me. That is quite upsetting. Back spasms for James Eaton. He will return for Tulane. Luckily for everybody that's getting hurt, it's just small injuries. Malik Bean with the pick. Let's go. Give me that thing. I love you, Malik Bean. You're the best. I don't know how Parker Palmer didn't get a sack right there, but I'll take the interception. Jacksonville is Pat McAfee, pretty much. All right, let's put together a nice little drive here. T. Roy gets to the outside, breaking tackles. Left and right still going to the 43. What a run from the freshman. He's got 663 yards this season. Really good season for him. Nelson McRae in at halfback for this one. Oh, what a block. Oh, my goodness. Cornerback just gets plowed over. And now Michael Hines in the zone again. No, sir. You will not catch me. Out of bounds around the 15-yard line. He's got 51 yards in the game. They had immediate pressure off the edge. That was a little bit scary. Ninety-six percent in the red zone. Just one miss on the year. Hines taken off. That's a touchdown for Jacksonville. Too easy. It's too fast. You can't leave that whole side of the field empty like that. Ozzie Sands, extra point is up and good. And it's 21-0 in the second quarter. Crowd's starting to get a little bit flustered. Let's go, Marcus. Big hit. Or miss. That's cool. Fine. 
All right, let's see if the defense can force another three and out. They've been doing it all game long. Just 19 yards of offense for Tulane. Marcus Pedersen back on the field for the JU secondary. And deflected, picked off Devin Rambo, the sophomore linebacker with the pick six. Oh my goodness, the floodgates have opened. What a play, deflects it up in the air to himself. Oh, that was amazing. The quarterback is <laughs> having a rough night, to say the least. Extra point up good. It's 28-0 now. It rains it pours. Yes, sir. All right, Marcus, let's try this again, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Sit down. Get him a body bag, please. Bring a gurney on the field. Woo. Oh, my goodness. It's a bloodbath out here. Oh, man. What a hit. Zane Williams comes through unblocked. It's a hit parade, folks. Unreal. Loss of three yards. Tulane's offense giving it up like a girl on prom night. I know that all too well. Oh my goodness, another huge hit. This time it's Devin Rambo. Woo, sit down, please. Take a seat, young man. It's a slaughter out here. Green Wave, 0 for 4 on third downs. And another hit on the quarterback, Parker Palmer. Wow. Defense just having their way with him. And Mr. Highlight set to return it from the 33-yard line. Can't spin past a couple defenders, but picks up about six. Bounty gate in New Orleans, typical. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tulane's O-line took Matador classes in the offseason. I think so. Deep shot. Mr. Highlight, oh, nice deflection. It was one-on-one, -on -one. I had to take the chance. Had to do it. Come on, crowd, get into it. And Hines gets close to the marker. They're down on one. Let's go triple option now. Possibly give it off to the big fella. Tyler Matthews, the big fullback. And, oh my goodness, he died. And they got it, of course. Every time. Every time. He got bodied. At least he got up from the hit, though. That's that's the most important thing, right? Best field position of the night for Tulane at the 49-yard line. And nice tackle by Pedersen. The Green Wave finally get past the 50-yard line.
Oh, Davidson almost deflects it. Good throw. Twenty-one plays, thirty-three yards. That's tough. Four receivers set for the green wave. And I am not fast enough to get over there. My goodness. First down again. Zane Williams in the zone at outside linebacker. And that pass is caught, but out of bounds, incomplete. That whole line is actually pretty decent. I'm not sure how we're destroying them so badly. Good pass. Oh my goodness, he was wide open, just missed him. Third and ten from the twenty one there. 0 for five on third down. What is this? There we go. Much better. And Zane Williams with the deflection in the end zone. And they're gonna have to settle for a field goal attempt. be a 38-yarder. And it is good. Tulane gets on the scoreboard. It's 28-3 here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Wait for it in the chat. Wait for it. Wait for it. I know somebody's going to say it. John Perez in the chat. What's up, John? How can you not hear that? Come on now, bruh. <laughs> there you go, Marvin. I knew somebody would say it. Jukes McGee gets the carry. Oh, what a juke from Jukes McGee. Up past the 50, still going. All the way to the 35-yard line. The junior running back, three carries, 26 yards per carry. Wow. RIP shutout. It's okay, JP. It's okay. Oh, the spin. Oh, Michael Hines is gone. <laughs> Touchdown, Dolphins. What a run. Unbelievable. That'll get him over 1,000 yards rushing for the season as well. RIP Tulane. RIP. That was just filthy. Oof. Spin was so nasty. Yes, sir. That was disgusting. Two plays, 84 yards. <laughs> oh, man. Michael Hines is just that dude. Fozzie Sands going to boot it deep. Three yards deep in the end zone. I just got clipped. There's a face mask as well. Feels best. I took care of the 28 to 3 issue in a hurry. Kinda. Just 25 seconds, that's all it took.
Oh my goodness, what is that? Allen Davidson with a pick. What was that play call? Oh my goodness. Wow. It's over. Another one. This defense is playing lights out right now. I love it. Throw it up top. Highlight. Did he come in bounds with it? Oh, no, he didn't. That was a good try, though. Leroy Gaines still going. Let's go, baby. First down inside the red zone. Hines in the zone at quarterback. Breaking a tackle. Oh, can't break past the second one. That's rough. First sack of the game, I believe. Loss of six. Crowd going wild. T-Roy Gaines gets the kill. Oh my goodness, the blocking. Deshaun Harris springs T-Roy Gaines free for the 25-yard touchdown run. That was just outstanding blocking on the left side. Look at this block. Pancake. And then gets the safety just enough to spring him free. Wow. D may not have at least speed yet, but they play their hearts out. Yes, sir. Always give 110%. Marvin isn't coach of the year, we riot. I like it. Of course, he's got to contend with VMI as well. Rondé Barber has that team just destroying everybody. Oh, this might go out of bounds. That's all good. Pretty sure they got to the 35 on their last kick return anyway. And it would not be an Optimus Klein stream without a kickoff out of bounds. Am I right? Eh? Eh? I'm right. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a hit. Oh, wow. Malik Bean just destroying everybody. The quarterback got wrecked as well. Wow. Everybody get got out here. Where is that throw going, my guy? Third and ten already. I'm blitzing. Let's go. Jones, up until this game, was having a pretty decent season. But they're 0 for 6 on third downs. That's, that's tough. Oh, my goodness. Instantly sacked by Zane Williams. Let's go. His eighth sack on the year. Just unblocked. I want another block. We know it's possible. Just not on this one. Highlight to return from his 20. And cannot make anybody miss. Drop at the 26. I'm going to call a timeout. Let him rest up for a minute. That was our final timeout, apparently. I don't recall telling the other ones, but okay. It's fine. Nice pump fake. Christian Hart over the middle. And we will go into the half up 42 to 3. Just absolute domination in this half. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's up, Ron? You're late. It's all good, buddy. 
just missed Jacksonville dominating. And we do get the ball since we kicked it off to start. Oh, they kicked it left. Let's go, T. Roy. Oh, we didn't get the blocking we needed, but he got it up to 25. Decent return. Eighty-six, or yeah, eighty-six yards for the freshman, I believe. Little Mike in the chat, what's up, man? I thought Tulane gives me problems. I mean, usually they do. Elson McCray with the carry, nice blocking again by I believe no, that was Mr. Highlight that time. Nas at the halftime show dropping ether. I like it. Just let me know when you want me to put the backups in, Marvin. Alright, we'll just take off. That's fine. 119 yards in the game for Michael Hines. One on one, Christian Hart, he's in the zone, he's got it, and he's down at the three. OBS stopped for a second, don't worry guys, the stream did not freeze, we're good. We are Gucci. All right, Hines on the option, pitches it out. Hines got lit up, but Nelson McRae is in for another touchdown. Kind of an unnecessary hit on the quarterback. He didn't have to do all that. And it is 49 to 3. Marcus, nice tackle. <laughs> B.I.G. dropping who you shot. I like it. Another classic, of course. Quarterback draw. That went absolutely nowhere. Zane Williams, another tackle for loss. Look at his career numbers. Outrageous. Just outrageous. Tulane out here looking bad. Yeah, it's it's been a rough showing for them. 100%. Quick pass to Branch. Pedersen on the tackle. Zane Williams in the zone at linebacker. Off tackle. Oh, I got caught on the line. That's a first down. Nelson needs four more yards for 1,000 for his career. Nice little milestone for the halfback and a blowout loss. Oh my goodness, Alan Davidson <laughs> just lays out for the deflection. I'm sure this isn't Tulane LSU. It could be. Williams in the zone again at linebacker. 
And he's unblocked, gets the sack, let's go! Jones with a cool five and a half yard per carry average. Too bad it's negative five and a half. All right, third down at 15. They are one of eight on third down. Wide open. Uh oh. Oh, nice tackle from Bean. That's 45. Pass and caught out of bounds, incomplete. I think Marvin Joseph played too late to lay down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just slipped him a cool million. Now <laughs> USC, oh my goodness. <laughs> Get him! Let's go, Pedersen! His numbers for the season aren't that great. He's suspended for, I don't know, half the year. Ron Kemp gonna go full Ocho Cinco. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like it. Calling out the DBs. You'll love to see it. Parker Palmer, tackle for a loss. They're down 13 now. Five wide receivers. And he is sacked instantly. Is that Frank Frazier? Yes, it was. Defense is just eating this quarterback alive, and they're going to punt it away. And no return for highlight on that. Jackson will be the team that can beat VMI, possibly. It would be a really good matchup for sure. But Jacksonville needs UTEP to lose. Single coverage, Mr. Highlight. Oh, he dropped it. And it's holding anyway. Armin Joseph looks like he's going to Rock bottom, a ref right there. Looking a little upset. Hines going to take off. Look out. Hines. Oh, my goodness. All the way out of bounds past the 35-yard line. That corner had no idea what was happening. Just gonna stomp the mud hole and walk and try Stone Cold style. I love it. <laughs> cut, cut. Deep shot, Jermaine Marshall. He's got him beat. Oh, and he drops it. Marshall, what are you doing? Say it ain't so. You're killing me, Smalls. 
He just doesn't want to have a reception, I guess. Strong safety is in the zone for Tulane. T-Roy! Caught on his own blocker because he is so slow. And it'll make it third down and eight. See how loud the crowd can get. Now they can still get max volume, pretty much. Oh my goodness gracious. I know McGee's open, but I can't throw it to him. Oh boy, that was rough. Now yeah, we'll punt it away again. Whatever. I think it was the right guard that got completely blown up on that play. They got in there rather quickly. Sims, do you want to get off a block? That would be fantastic, my friend. Jacksonville's very explosive. Yes, sir. Their offense has an extremely talented bunch. They're all really fast, really agile. Get up! Oh, Devin Rambo, say it ain't so, young man. That was the quarterback. Put it on a highlight reel. Put some memes in the Discord. You got trucks, son. Oh, I got level. There's a face mask on Frank Fraser. Stick around after the stream, guys. We'll be taking a look at the Week 12 schedule and the new Top 25 as well as conference standings. Oh, huge hit. Zane Williams. Let's go. He got planted. And it's now going to be the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. J.E. on top, 49-3. Against the two-lane green wave here in New Orleans, Louisiana. They still have their starting quarterback in, which is kind of crazy. He has not played well. Nice tackle by Marcus Barnes, the freshman. Someone please call 911. Oh my goodness. It's rough, but it ain't that rough. Come on now. They're down to five. Play action and an instant sack. Devin Rambo. There's no way that was Devin Rambo, was it? No. It looked like the player had a single digit number. Yeah, that was Zach Allen. Why is it showing Devin Rambo? Mr. Highlight, oh my goodness, that was a good punt all the way to the 11-yard line. Can't spin him out, but we do get it past the 20. 16 punt return touchdowns in his career. Ridiculous. You know, he just tied Devin Hester all time. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Throw it up. Christian Hart. The tight end. Oh, what a play by the safety. Did you see how far he had to run for that? My goodness. The closing speed. I give it a 10 out of 10. He ran from the other side of the field for that one. That was a good punt by Michael Hines. That's fine. 
I know it was first down. Don't worry about it. And another sack. Zane Williams again. Loss of seven. So about Hines, I got you, Marvin. We'll do it after this defensive drive. And incomplete. Caden coming across the middle. Got bumped just a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tulane finally gets over 100 yards passing in the game. I don't know how he caught that. That's unfortunate. Zane Williams in the zone at linebacker. I'm sending him on a blitz. Let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Instant hit on the quarterback. I believe that was Marcus Barnes. Yes, it was. Uh-oh. Hayden breaking a tackle. Nice back juke. Gets out of bounds at the 25. Nice reception for him. I call a timeout. Defense is ready for a nap. I destroyed the quarterback. I'm surprised it wasn't a late hit. Seven sacks, 13 hurries, and two picks for the defense. Outstanding. Zane Williams again in the zone. Look out. And that's a drop. And Stephen Jones finally gets hurt from a hit. Injures his shoulder on the play. Offensive line for Tulane going to be running laps for about three weeks straight. High snap for Cunningham, and he sacked instantly. Zane Williams again. Sit down. Get him out of here, coach. That high snap definitely <laughs> just ruined any chance he had at making a play. Fourth down and 16. They're going to go for it. Steven Jones out for the rest of the ball game with a bruised shoulder. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's up, Bill? How you doing, buddy? Hopefully your night tonight was better than last night. And we get the stop. Too easy. All right, we're going to get Nolan Connor some playing time at quarterback now. A sophomore. T-Roy! Oh, blocking! Fantastic downfield. T-Roy Gaines is gone. That's the 50-burger, folks. Oh my goodness. Phenomenal job blocking on the left side of the field tonight. Well, Nolan Connor came in and uh, had a really nice handoff on that play. And it's 56 to 3 now.
Again, don't forget to stay tuned after the game to check out our Week 12 schedule, the new Top 25 and Conference standings. See who they've got at the top of the Pac-10 with the four-way tie that they currently have. That was too easy. <laughs> That's just way too easy. Darn cat. Knocking stuff over. Nelson McCray gets the carry. It's the outside. Mr. Highlight with some great blocking. McCray inside the 10. Over 400 rushing yards for, for the Dolphins. Wow. Four trips to the red zone, four touchdowns. Again, only one miss in the red zone this season. If I'm remembering correctly, it was a fumble. And Jukes McGee gets it up to the two and a half, three yard line, possibly. Three touchdowns on the season for him. Not many carries, but I mean, with the two freshman running backs, it's been really hard to get him the football. But we're trying. We'll get it to him again right here. Christian Hart in the zone at tight end. See if he gets a decent block on that right side. And he does, but McGee is going to fall down at the one. These formation subs are killing me. Third and goal. Hart in the zone again. And T-Roy in for another one. Another one. The 60 burger. I'm pretty sure Tulane's goose is cooked. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sixty-three to three. Almost at their points per game average on the season, which was around sixty-eight uh, points per game. GG too lame. I don't know about the GG part for them, but <laughs> I mean they showed up a little bit, right? They're on the field at least. I'll take that. I will. I'll, I'll just take it. I am destroying people with Marcus Pedersen this game. Wow. Ten tackles, one sack, two picks. Let's go. Give me that. Why you keep testing me with these sorry receivers? It's just not fair with me on the sticks. It's really not. McRae to the outside. McRae, first down for Jacksonville. It's too late even trying anymore. You know, I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. 
First and goal from the five. Toss play to McCray, and they close in on him pretty quickly. Loss of three. T-Roy Gaines play of the game for the Dolphins. Eight carries, 144 yards, three touchdowns. Brewer play of the game for a two lane. And Gaines will get another carry here. And gets it up to the two yard line. 150 yards in the game now. Goal line set, and Michael Hines back in there for whatever reason. I don't know. Beats McGee with the carry and drops. So we're going to kick a field goal. That's fine. Keep the red zone percentage at above 95. It's been a pure ass whooping. Yes, yes, it has. <laughs> From start to finish. Bozzy Sands. Field goal is up and good. It's 66 to 3 with three seconds left. And you know what we going to do right here. Not a good kick. Oh, we got it! Let's go! The onside kick magic continues on the Optimus Klein YouTube channel. Deep shot to Mr. Highlight. Oh, they tackled him. That's the end of the game, guys. Jacksonville wins it 66 to 3 here in New Orleans, Louisiana, against the now 4-6 Green Wave. Dolphins improved to 7-1 on the season. My goodness. What a beautiful game. <laughs> and we get an onside kick. You, you gotta love it. Tulane has just canceled all sports and will try their luck with their debate team instead. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, let's take a look at the stats, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at our Week 12 schedule. Also, we will be seeing if UTEP can win their game right after this. 437 rushing yards. Outrageous. 177 passing. We were sacked once. We sacked them eight times. Eight sacks, guys. We had three turnovers, but we did have four takeaways, so I, I like it, I guess. They punted the ball eight times. We had five penalties for 60 yards. Game was over before it started. Feels bad. That's what Tulane gets for leaving the SEC back in the day. Yep, it's their own fault. Hines, 177 yards passing, one touchdown, two interceptions. That's all right. Because he had 150 rushing yards as well with two touchdowns. T-Roy Gaines, 150 yards, three scores. McGee had a touchdown. Nelson McCray had a touchdown. Tyler Matthews, you failed me, sir. You fumbled. I'm sad. Highlight, three catches, 83 yards and a score. Christian Hart, 3 for 86. Jermaine Marshall, 1 for 6. McCray, 1 for 2. And Marshall had that drop way downfield. Should have been a big-time reception. UTEP needs to lose. Uh, yeah, for the Dolphins to move up to that number 2 spot. Pedersen, 10 tackles, 2 for loss, 1 sack, 2 picks. Let's go. Zane Williams, 8 tackles, 7 for a loss with 4 sacks. Marcus Barnes, 7 tackles. Rambo, 4. Not a whole lot of players actually had tackles. That's that's just crazy. 17 tackles for a loss for the defense. Eight sacks. All by subscriber players. Four interceptions. Again, all by subscriber players. Six pass deflections for the defense. A forced fumble from Marcus Barnes. Alan Davidson had a fumble recovery with three yards. When did that happen? What am I missing here? 
Can anybody answer that question? What? How? How did he get that? Because I don't remember. Defensive touchdown. A pick six for Devin Rambo. All right, JP. Take it easy, buddy. Fozzie Sands. One for one field goals. Long of 19. Nine of nine extra points. Ten kickoffs. Two touchbacks. Dalton Hayes. Two punts. And both of them inside the 20. And nothing crazy on returns in this ball game. Let's take a look at the players of the game. T-Roy Gaines, Michael Hines, Marcus Pedersen, Brewer, Washington, and Jackson for Tulane. 5-0 and in conference, Jacksonville is as well. They have three conference games left. And it's going to be really fun to see uh, them in Grambling State duke it out in the SEC title game. Well, we're going to sit here for, I don't know, about 35 minutes while this saves because I really don't feel like um, simulating and then having the game freeze and losing that game that we just played. So, you know, enjoy. Yeah, it would definitely be better to be in the SEC for recruiting for sure. Just imagine if Tulane was able to get players of the caliber that like Vanderbilt gets since they're like the bottom tier of the SEC. Like if two, if uh, if Vanderbilt went to two lanes conference, I don't even know what conference they're in anymore, honestly. But if they went there, they would dominate because they're still getting you know high tier recruits. Yeah, that probably is why Rutgers went Big Ten because they were they lose a lot of guys because I mean even just the Miami Hurricanes alone snag at least two or three. Uh, top recruits out of New Jersey every single year. Come on, save already. Save it. All right, that's it. It's saved. All right, where are you, UTEP? Here it is. UTEP versus Richmond. Who you got in the chat? Let me know. Hurry up. Throw some scores in there. The Richmond Spiders, they are a no walkover team as well. They're 6 and 2 on the year. This is a nationally televised game. Spiders 20th ranked rush offense. Well, UTEP in the top 50, top 20 for most rankings. Shut up, William. Nobody wants to hear your meowing. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness, a blowout. 49-14. <laughs> UTEP 9 and 0 on the season now. That's tough. See what Western Illinois can do. They just defeated uh, Dayton. Oh my goodness, they put up 56. Watch out for the Leathernecks in the future. All right, simulate the rest of Week 11. We'll take a gander at Week 12 matchups. And then we'll take a look at the Top 25 and Conference standings. And also the Heisman watch list as well. Alabama A&M 4-5 and five on the season after defeating UC Davis opening week. Unbelievable. How about Chattanooga almost beating Western Carolina, though? 23-21. Pretty good game. Chattanooga is just such a weird word. Like, there's just too many T's together, too many O's. How did Savannah State get a recruit when I was unable to do any recruiting? Okay. Well, Savannah State just got a player somehow. There's literally no recruiting happening this uh, during the season. I don't know what just happened. Savannah State actually moves down one spot. They'll be taking on Delaware State. VMI, 10-0 on the season, travels to take on the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Dayton versus Northern Iowa. Should be a good one. Portland State traveling to UC Davis. North Dakota State at South Dakota State. A top 10 showdown. That is the game of the week in Brookings, South Dakota. I am looking forward to that one. North Dakota State needs to keep winning to keep their national championship hopes alive. Bryant moved up one spot after their win. They'll be taking on the Florida A&M Rattlers. Jacksonville remains at number three, obviously, with UTEP winning. They'll take on Alabama A&M with J.J. Barber and the Bulldogs. 
Should be a good matchup, I think. I mean, we saw Alabama and m beat UC Davis, so it's it's going to be a test. J.J. Barber, dual threat quarterback, it's going to be hard. San Diego at Cal Poly, another computer game. So we got two of those this week coming up. Three of them with Southern Utah traveling to Greeley, Colorado to take on the Northern Colorado Bears. And that is it for Week 12, guys. What was that, nine games? Yep, nine games. It should be a fun one. I'm looking forward to those games. All right, Kedets, hold tight. Why is Justin Hoffs throwing with his left hand in that picture? I don't know what's happening. All right, bowl rankings. We know the Kedets are number one. Bad Moon Rising. That's Tremaine Watson for the Jackrabbits, and they have come out of nowhere to cause a little controversy in the polls. Well, they do have two losses, so it's a little rough. Grand Lake State moves up one spot. North Dakota State as well. Southern Utah moves up to seven. South Dakota State to eight. Dayton moves up to tenth. UC Davis moves up three spots. Cal Poly drops to 13th. Their national championship hopes are gone. Savannah State moving down one spot. I'm not sure about that. But whatever. FAU still undefeated as well. They're 8-0, but they're on two-year probation. Northern Colorado at 20. Montana at 21. Bryant at 22. Tennessee State, Prairie View A&M, and Southern rounds out the top 25. All right, let's take a look at the Heisman watch list. Hops looks to garner All-American honors along with the coveted Heisman. Zoomer Speed still number one. Michael Hines still number two. Hops and Gurley did not move at all. And Cam Sanders finds himself back on the list as well after almost 100 yards total against Southeastern. And just one touchdown. Okay, then. Not sure how he gets back on there, but I like it. We'll take a look at the award semifinalists around the final week of the season. Pedersen honored after the Jacksonville Dolphins thrashed Tulane. All right, conference standings, guys. This is what we all want to see. Tennessee State travels to El Paso to face number two UTEP. That should be the game of the week. I mean, just circle it on the calendar right now. All right, the ACC, the Atlantic. Okay, Bryant actually might have a shot at winning their division somehow. Because NCAA and T State has lost a couple games in conference. I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure they were undefeated in conference play. But now Bryant sneaks in there. And the Coastal is won by Norfolk State already. Big Ten, Youngstown State, most likely going to win that. All they got to do is win their final conference matchup of the season. I'm not sure who that's going to be against. Big 12. North Dakota State still at top of the north, of course. BMI at the top of the south. Big East, Yale, and Princeton right behind them. Penn closing in just a little bit. Conference USA, UTEP, obviously at, at the top of that. Richmond, they're going to win the East, and they will get a rematch with UTEP. So that should be fun as well. Independence, I mean, everybody's got a losing record. What's going on here, guys? Step your game up. The Mac, Buffalo at number six in the country. They lead the Mac East. The Mac West is led by Central Michigan and Ball State. Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan closing in. They're right behind them. Mountain West, Colorado State, and San Diego State right next to them as well. It's going to be a close finish for those two schools. The Pac-10, Cal Poly is at the top of it. Southern Utah at number two. San Diego three. UC Davis at four. But again, we do have um, two computer games in the Pac-10 in Week 12. Northern Colorado versus Southern Utah. And what was the other one? San Diego Cal Poly? I already forgot. Yes, San Diego Cal Poly. Okay. So, it, it's going to get even crazier, guys. <laughs> it really is. Because the winner of the San Diego Cal Poly game will be 6-1. and one. They'll be at the top. Southern Utah... If they win their matchup, they'll be 6-1. and one. They'll be tied with the winner of the San Diego Cal Poly game. 
and then UC Davis. Um, I believe they also have a conference game as well. So they would be 6-1. and one. So it would be a three-way tie. So we're looking at a three-way tie most likely or possibly just a two-way tie at the top of the Pac-10 after Week 12 is finished. Unbelievable. SEC, Grambling State, 8-0. Jacksonville, 7-1. I mean, this is going to be a huge matchup in the title game. Grambling State, they've already clinched the East. Jacksonville, they have not quite clinched, uh, clinched the West yet. They have to get through Alabama A&M. That is going to be a tough game. I don't care what the record says. They have J.J. Barber at quarterback. He's a lefty. He can scramble. He's disgusting. And that's going to be a tough game. Defense needs to step it up because Barber is faster than everybody on that defense except for Jack Sims. The Sun Belt, led by Florida Atlantic. I'm not sure if they can win the conference being on a two-year probation. I'm not sure how that works, but they are currently sitting at the top. The WAC. Led by San Jose State and Boise State right behind them. Both 5-1 and one on the season. And that, my friends, is going to do it for Week 11. I do appreciate you guys sticking around for all these games. I know it took a couple weeks to actually get through all these games. But last week, we did the VMI and Southeastern game. And then I was going to stream the next day. There was extreme thunderstorms in my town. I had no power. I lost power like 11 times that day. The day after that, we still had thunderstorms. It was just insane. So it, it was just a bad week last week for streams. Well, luckily, we got through the rest of it this week. Week 12 will start on, I believe, Monday night. We'll have uh, Savannah State and Delaware State. I might get through uh, VMI and Sam Houston State as well. So... Yeah, I'm going to try to get a doubleheader on Monday night, hopefully. But appreciate you guys stopping by the stream. Slap the like button on your way out of it. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community to get your college football career started in this series. The link is in the description below. I will see you guys in there. Take it easy, guys.